currently in, in Uganda, the stocks or the abundance of the large fishes like the Nile perch, the tilapia, are declining because of exports and also high post harvest losses. We estimate that about 40% of uh, these uh, uh, the catches are lost because of uh, uh, what happens after they are harvested. What the project uh, sought out to do was to increase the availability, uh, consumption, and access to these small fishes and also fish processing by products uh, to increase the food and nutritional uh, security and also uh, improve livelihoods of uh, the communities, especially the vulnerable groups. The small fishes have very many advantages. First of all, uh, they can survive in, in changing conditions. Uh, for example, uh, changes in water quality, like climate change, they can be able to survive those uh, conditions. Uh, in addition, they are also uh, affordable to the poor communities, so uh, they can be purchased in small quantities. They are actually very rich in micronutrients, uh, such as iron, such as zinc, which are needed for child development and also for good health of uh, especially the mothers. We developed five uh, products enriched with fish. Uh, this is a uh, uh, maize flour that is enriched with uh, uh, fish, mukene, and uh, it is, can be used uh, for meal or for porridge, either. So uh, this sort of uh, replaces, we know that in East Africa we eat a lot of ugali, eh? so now instead of eating pure maize ugali, we can also eat ugali that is enriched with fish. And the beauty with this is uh, if somebody doesn't have sauce, when they are boiling the water for the ugali, they can add some salt. And then once they make the meal, it already has fish. If the water has salt, then they can eat this meal without sauce, any other sauce. And that is a reality in many low-income settings, that they don't have enough money to buy both food and sauce. So that's why we developed this. And then we also developed uh, a seasoning. I think the most known brand in East Africa is Royco. So we have developed a Royco-like product. It's a seasoning that is enriched with fish, uh, mukene in particular. So you can see uh, it is uh, maize-based, uh, corn-based, and it also has amaranth and uh, mukene fish and all the other sort of condiments. This morning we are here in Chalwajala Market Trading Centre uh, promoting fish enriched sauce to chapati street vendors. These chapati vendors usually prepare bean sauce, dry bean sauce, to serve with their chapati, a meal that they call Chukomando or Rolex. Uh, however, dry beans take a minimum of one hour to cook. Now, that is a lot of time, but it's also a lot of fuel that it consumes to cook beans. This is very important in view of the climate change and the need to preserve uh, biomass, especially trees that go into charcoal making. These guys are using charcoal. So uh, we have developed uh, this fish enriched sauce that cooks in only 10 minutes. It only takes 10 minutes. So we have uh, introduced it to the chapati vendors, uh, over 300 in Kampala district. And uh, today we were here demonstrating it. They cooked it themselves. And the people around the market and the trading center came and tested it. And they really, really appreciate it uh, because it cooks fast and it tastes good. We have also uh, informed them how nutritious it is and that it is using underutilized fish like mukene or silver fish, which people normally underlook and underrate as a low quality product. So we have converted a low value fish, underutilized fish, into a high value product that is nutritious. It is convenient because it cooks fast and it is tasty, but also it cares for the environment. Yeah, it, uh, it is climate smart, if I may say so. The second thing the project has done is to improve the processing and the, and the handling of the small fishes. We noticed that there was a challenge 
of handling right from harvesting to processing and to marketing. In terms of processing, we found that the most common uh, method used was sand drying, open sand drying, where the uh, catch is exposed to contamination uh, with animal dung, with the dust, and the other extraneous materials which compromises the quality. Uh, we also noticed that uh, when the catch is a lot, especially in the wet season, there's a lot of loss, up to 90% the catch is actually needlessly lost because uh, the rain just comes and sweeps uh, whatever is being spread and uh, that's a lot of financial loss uh, uh, so that challenge comes with also climate change we've seen a lot of increased rainfall in the country uh, in recent years and uh, we've also seen changes uh, in the water levels and the uh, uh, whatever was on land, uh, uh, part of that has now been uh, sub submerged underwater. So the issue of climate change is also associated with the, uh, these uh, small fishes. Talking of uh, climate change, you know, usually when it rains so, so, so much, it's very difficult for us to, to dry the mukene to the standard that is required the market. And that's why we've gone ahead and uh, constructed a solar tent. And by so doing, we want to interest the processors, most of whom are women. But of late, we've seen the youth also come on board to, to do the processing. The small fishing is done at night, uh, where they use light attraction. So when they get the nets, uh, they, they get the catch and then put it in the, in the boat, at the floor of the boat, and they pile that the entire night. By the time they come to the shoreline uh, in the morning, uh, the lower layers of the fish has actually gotten spoiled. So that's a very big challenge. You, you find that before even reaching the processing, there is already a loss which has uh, taken place in terms of spoilage. So Nutrifish uh, is working with the uh, value chain actors and also other stakeholders to do a number of things to increase the consumption of these fishes and also in a way uh, contribute to uh, improving nutrition and food security.